Yeah, so I'm doing good. Um, obviously, I have a broken neck. I've uh, been really lucky. This summer, I went on a holiday uh, for a wedding. And we had a swimming pool and I decided just to dive in it for fun. Wasn't really a big deal, but somehow I hit my head on the bottom. And I just felt this like crazy tingling through my body. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, I hit my head. Came above the water and my neck was instantly super stiff. And when I felt that, I was kind of like, oh, shit, I probably slipped a disc or something. I have to get out the water and I slowly swam out the water. It was an evening and then... Uh, I told my partner, Stina, that I was like, yeah, I kind of did something stupid. I dove in a swimming pool, wasn't very deep there, hit my head, so I'm going to go lay in bed. But maybe I broke my neck, so just so you know, I have had a really nice life. Don't worry about it if I don't wake up. <laughs> I was kind of joking with that, but then, uh, yeah, I went to bed and uh, massaged my neck a bit and slept it off. And the next morning I woke up and I was still like super stiff and tried to find a doctor. And luckily I ended up at uh, a good hospital, not just uh, the main one, but like some private place where they instantly like took photos of my neck and slowly that day was like, okay, you probably have broken your neck. And I was like, oh shit, like that's kind of serious. And then he's like, yeah, it looks like small fractures. We need to do an MRI. And then I went to get the MRI and I was like, told my partner like, yeah, I won't be coming home today to the, to the hotel anymore because yeah, they think I broke my neck, so I'm gonna stay here for a couple more checkups. Then we did the MRI, and then the doctor came back with his hard collar and instantly wrapped me up. And he's like, "Yeah, you properly broken your neck. We need to see what we're gonna do about it." So then I, uh, they checked me into the hospital and everything, and I had nothing with me as I just came to actually to find a chiropractor to fix my neck, and ended up in a hospital and. Um, yeah, so then I was there and I was kind of a shock. I'm like, shit, what have I done to myself? But I didn't really realize what had happened yet. I was just like, yeah, because I felt good, you know, I felt fine besides that I had a really stiff neck. And then the doctor came to me and he's like, yeah, you actually have some fractures, but we can do an injection. And after the injection, you'll be fine after 10, 12 days. You'll be back on your snowboard because I explained them that I'm a professional snowboarder and my career is kind of everything for me. It's my life. So yeah, how long will I be out there running? Because I have another trip planned to the US where I'm gonna go snowboard. And he's like, yeah, so it's either we do the concrete injection or we have to do surgery where we have to like put some screws in. And I was like, oh, that's a, that, I don't wanna do that because I heard bad things about locking up your neck and stuff. So um, they were gonna prep me for surgery for the next day. And that night I was just waiting in the hospital and late at night, 10 o'clock, the doctor came back and he's like, well, I still got some bad news and some good news. The good news is that you can feel your legs and you have no feelings, but you actually have broken like seven or eight of your vertebrates. And that was a big shock. And he's like, because you've broken so many, I cannot do the injection or operate. You just have to wear the collar and be really still. And we, we have to uh, go from there. So yeah, then he told me that I will take quite a bit longer than just two weeks. And being alone in the hospital, have to deal with that and not knowing how badly I actually broke my neck, but just know that I wasn't allowed to move anymore. And he told me like so many times, like you don't have one angel on your shoulder. You had like five because the way you survived this accident is pretty amazing. Like it's a miracle. And he explained me like you can see like uh, after on the photos that I got back in Norway that um, one of my vertebrae completely cracked through the middle and a bit came off and the bit that came off also went towards my uh, spine, the nerves in my spine and, yeah, and if it hits the, the cord then I would have been paralyzed or dead if my head would have rolled in the swimming pool or anything else I would have like been completely paralyzed from my neck down and that's such a big mental thing to go through so that was kind of the end of my holiday but still feeling fine and having my neck collar on. I spent two days in the hospital and then they they checked me out because they couldn't do much more for me and all I had to do is watch out that I didn't start feeling any tingling in my fingers or in my feet. So every time I did some kind of move I was always like <gasps> will I start feeling any tingling because like will something happen to me and um, get cold and you start sneezing and you're like you sneeze really hard you're like 
oh, is this is this the end? You like you just so scared like for such a long time, and then I flew back to Norway and they they, they did another CT scan there, and that really showed how bad it was. And again, those doctors as well, they 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 couldn't believe I had any problems with my nerves. So they were like, you've been so lucky, and I kept hearing that. But in the meantime, I also kept hearing you cannot go snowboard this summer, you cannot go training, you cannot, we don't know when you're going to be ready for snowboarding, we don't know how good your neck will stay, we have to see how long it's going to be. Yeah, and that's kind of where I'm now, I'm like just in a waiting process, but I also took in mind that the doctors, they're very, very careful with you because you have a broken neck. But in the end, I also feel like you got to listen to your body and they say you shouldn't work out in a gym, but I feel the neck is really well protected so I can work out with my legs and do stuff slowly just to keep my mind clear because the hardest part I think it's it's the the mental part the shock you go through the expectations you have of yourself um, Olympic season is coming so I'm like prepared for that and now it's like oh I gotta take like five steps back and readjust my schedule readjust my thinking um, of course, my parents were super scared and shocked. I have two beautiful children. They are like, oh, why can't we like touch mommy anymore? Because you know it's super dangerous if they would have jumped on my head or they can't play with me anymore. And I'm not allowed to lift them or anything. The doctor said so. I just walk around being like useless in my daily life, and that that's also like hard to to deal with. And yeah, so it's it's so much to actually digest and. And deal with that I feel like mentally it's been tough but also maybe a step that I had to go through and look at myself and see what I want for myself to continue and to go further and people are like oh you're probably not gonna go to the Olympics now and I'm like hold on one second and they're like oh you're probably gonna stop snowboarding I'm like whoa no this is the thing I love to do most in life and by breaking my neck and knowing it can happen kind of out of nowhere I always do dangerous stuff on my snowboard but I go on holiday and I break my neck in a swimming pool it's like makes you realize that you just don't know what life is gonna give you so you want to make the most of it every day and I love snowboarding so I'm definitely gonna continue that and I'll get back on my board as soon as as the brace comes off